So week four of lockdown. Uh, I have to admit I'm getting a bit of cabin fever photography wise. So I thought I'd come out. Uh, I'm taking the dog for a walk. <laughs> uh, it's about 6.30 a.m. Not the greatest start. I'm in a graveyard, but we're lucky that we live in a place where there's some nice woods, uh, some nice walks. So I'm going to head up on the hills, lots of gorse. And uh, I've got my camera, I've got one lens, I've got my 50 mil lens on, uh, so that's all I'm using. And uh, I'm going to go on Aperture Priority, I'm just going to see what I can find when I'm out on the walk. Um, uh, it's going to be a nice mixture of kind of, um, kind of open, kind of access uh, hillside, but then woodland, uh, and the sun's still quite low. Looking out over to Liverpool. So let's see what we can do just uh, to alleviate the boredom <laughs> and uh, follow me and I was having a wee <laughs> on our walk. So I've come up the hill a bit and uh, the first thing I've uh, decided to photograph was a mixture of this wonderful, wonderful gorse, beautiful yellow flowers, really strong coconut smell. It's beautiful, absolutely love it. Um, but then we've got the war memorial up here. So, I'm going to take a shot down here through the gorse, looking towards the sun. And then I'm going to come over here and try and take a shot looking through the gorse up to the war memorial. Depth of field is going to be the issue here. So I'm going to do one shot with a focus on the war memorial and one shot with a focus on the gorse and see how that works out. Um, but you appreciate I've got my hands full a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go on F11 looking down to it now. Looking towards the sun is always a challenge. But trying to look through this gorse. Not sure how that'll work out. But we'll have a have a, a go. And then just coming down. Beautiful gorse. Oslo wants to be part of the process. Has to go portrait mode. Portrait orientation, sorry. And then gonna do a little bit of jiggery pokery with my focus points. Let's see how this works out. And I'm going to drop down now to f2.8 and go really focused on this gorse. And then I'm going back the other way. I'm going to really focus on the war monument. And we'll see how those go. And Oslo's being very patient, so he gets a treat. Here you go, Oz. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so Oslo's being very patient. Uh, and then, people who've seen previous of my films, Hilbury Island, we live in a lovely place. North Wales is over that way. Hilbury Island, the tide is out. And uh, hometown of, well, not hometown, town I live in. Is, uh, is down there, West Kirby. So, but we're going along this way and uh, head to the woods. So we're into the woods and it's just an absolutely beautiful morning. Amazing bird song. Seen one other person. No traffic about. You can hear a little bit of traffic in the distance, but not very much. But just looking at this birch tree and there's some lovely light coming on here. And I'm going to try and capture that. So, Let's see if we can get close in. I've gone down to f1.8. I'm using aperture priority, so I can't do any kind of jiggery pokery, but I just, just look at the amazing light. I'm also, while I've been stood here, there's just a, a, a single twig of broom, I think that is, and the sun's right behind it. Let's see if I can get that. Beautiful. Might be a bit close. No, camera's, camera's struggling to pick that up. No, it's, I can't, I can't get that. It's the, it's the 50 mil lens isn't kind of really suitable to that. But the reason I chose the 50 mil lens is it's quite small and compact, but also 50 mil lens at f.8 is the closest uh, replication to the human eye you'll get, uh, apparently. So I just thought it'd be kind of nice challenge for myself. But uh, there's Oz, 
fettling around and uh, we're in the woods and I'm enjoying myself and uh, it's nice to be out on my one allocated exercise trip for the day. Come on Oz. There he comes. There you come. Hello fella. <laughs> so I never wanted a dog but he's my buddy. This is one of my favourite parts of the woods. We get into the kind of real big beasts of the trees so there's a really good mix of kind of sycamore and ash and, and uh, birch and beech um, and one of the things I like about kind of bringing a dog up here is you, you can walk for like, a, a long time without crossing a road but you get a real mix of kind of this, this um, kind of more traditional kind of conifer type woods uh, I'm just checking what the dog's up to <laughs> where is he he's around somewhere um, you come over open heath with the gorse and then you come down to these kind of big fellas uh, and what I'm doing because of the because of the kind of relatively low level of the sun I've just been looking up uh, so I've been photographing looking upwards and I particularly liked it here there's a jackdaw flying over um, because this tree isn't quite in leaf yet but this uh, sycamore tree is so you've got the kind of the contrast so I just looked up quite a shallow depth of field because I'm just focused on the up on the canopy but it's a lovely place we get woodpeckers here uh, Rosie my daughter and I were here the other night in the dark with our torches and there were tawny owls calling you get foxes but just like that contrast up there um that's it one of the I'm, in fact I'll, I'll have another go i'm gonna drop my uh, i was on 5.6 i'm gonna go really shallow depth of field 1.8 see how that works out just let some move a little bit interesting see how that goes um also is waiting waiting patiently <laughs> and we're off for uh bit more of a walk I might have a little bit of a look at some of the tree trunks some of the detail see how that goes one of the great advantages of having a local patch is you get to see stuff and kind of log it and then come back to it so you know the area really well so this is a perfect example this kind of birch polypore there's a fungus growing on this tree here I've seen it grow over the past kind of couple of months it was a tiny little bud I love perch polypore um, so I've seen it grow. It's got lovely light on because the sun's over there. And I'm going to take a few images uh, with different depths of field. The background's a bit bleh, you know, it's just bramble and kind of kind of untidiness. So I'm just going to try and focus on that in the light um, and get some shots looking across it. And there's this lovely kind of band of shadow coming down the side. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Try and make the most of that light. But uh, I've, I've had my eye on this, so I came this way deliberately. Poor old Oslo is getting a bit bored. <laughs> well, I've almost come full circle. I'm up at the, uh, I'm not sure what, kind of waypoint. It's a trig point actually, but uh, it's pointing out. It's, it's one of the places that you get a good view across over Hilbury Island. North Wales is a bit misty at the moment, but there's the River Dee. Um, and you might just be able to see there's a column and the monuments further down that way. But one of the things it points out here, I'm not sure you'd be able to see this, Snowdon Range is 40 miles away and Anglesey is 47 miles away kind of straight across there and I'm really missing it um, I'm really missing being out in the mountains uh, and, and being in kind of the coast uh, kind of North Wales but it's the right thing to do I'm staying home staying safe and I really do appreciate that lots of people don't have this sort of place to walk to from their house so I'm hugely hugely lucky um, so I hope you enjoyed my dog walk, a um, bit of an experiment, 50 mil lens, um, <laughs> it's not a landscape lens, not a macro lens, it's kind of, people use them a lot for portraits, I, I think I got this off eBay for about 40 quid years ago and I hardly ever use it but I just thought, come out and give it a try. Some of the images I probably would have taken more time over if I was using uh, a macro or a landscape lens and I didn't have Oslo with me, mate. <laughs> There he is, look, are you matey, are you alright? Um, but, kind of, it's a dog walk, not a photography walk. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, going to head off home and uh, have a cup of tea. Uh, and he'll probably sleep for the rest of the day. But that's my 
one exercise out of the house for the day, go home and do some processing. Uh, hope you're staying safe and uh, hopefully you'll uh, tune in for the next one. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>